Don't look at my question, Robin. <laughs> I don't know. I, I ask so many weird questions all the time, but. Do a, do a good weird one. Just let it ride. <laughs> What does being an artist mean to you? Oh. Take it away. <laughs> um, <laughs> for me, I feel it, I, I struggle to call myself an artist still. It's been a journey where I've realized that I can kind of do whatever I want and that um, once you have that, a little more confidence in yourself and your abilities that you begin to be able to see more stuff under the scope of art yeah. um, and everything that you do kind of becomes a part of it. Yeah, I agree. I feel like it means having a lot of freedom and it, I feel like it's kind of what I've always done and just who I am. So I don't, when people are like, oh, how did you start? I'm like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, like, exactly. It's just who I am. Yeah. I also think it's cool, like growing up, trying to become an artist doing it all the time, you get so excited seeing other people's work. And when you can be in a position where someone reaches out and they're like, oh my gosh, I love seeing your work. And it makes me feel excited about drawing that is like a huge yeah. part of it for me because yeah. it's so cool having yeah. that feeling. Oh, okay. Have you always wanted to be an artist? What came before this? I, I have since I was a kid. I mean, I've always drawn. I read a lot of comics when I was a kid, especially ElfQuest comics. Mm -hmm. Did you read ElfQuest? Okay, you did. Um, but then I went through a lot of phases because I did a lot of other things. So I played music, I played in a band um, called Crocodiles for like five years and that took up a lot of time. And then that kind of helped because I traveled so much that I met people everywhere and kind of formed relationships with artists all around the world. And I was like, oh, this is great. And then that sort of started becoming a thing where I realized like, oh, I could probably do that yeah. all the time. Mm -hmm. And that would be really, really fun. And it would be my own project that I could start making into you know my life. My mom's a teacher. She taught art incidentally, but also like elementary school and so is my sister. Um, so and they both did art mainly as hobbies. So I decided I'll go to community college to be a teacher as well. Yeah. Um, and I did that and I dropped out. And then I got a regular job and I was a receptionist and I was just like, I'm gonna just be a receptionist. And I had a blog, you know, and I was like, this is what I'm going to do. I like take pictures of my outfits. You know, it was like I had no direction. And then in the rest during the recession, I lost my job and I developed a drinking problem. <laughs> and um, I uh, and during that time, drawing had always been my hobby um, and everything else that I had been doing, thinking that I was going to do had fallen off. I didn't know what I wanted to do. And the only thing that I ever found myself doing besides being at the bar was drawing and I had a moment where I was like, this has got to stop. Around that same time, I drew Whatever Forever, which was very, um, <laughs> very, well, it was funny because people always are like, oh, it's so cute. And it's like, I actually drew that when I was at the bottom of the darkest pit of my life. And that is how I felt about my life. And it is not supposed to be uplifting or inspirational, um, but it's pink. Yeah, so it's exactly. cute and clueless, right? I feel like I've always like known that this is not just like what I want to do, but who I am. Like my mom tells this story, everyone she meets, she tells this story when I was like, I think like maybe three or four, um, cause she would always draw with me and like, she would put on movies and it was always like Fantasia or like <laughs> something like that. And uh, she would get the big like sheets of just uh, drawing paper and we would just like doodle and she'd draw with me. And uh, I guess there was one day we were watching like Bob Ross or something and, and they were talking about like this artist and I was like, what is that? She's like, well, an artist, it's someone who makes a living doing art. And I was like, that's who I am. That's what I want to be. <laughs> 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 <laughs>